Anytime that I can find a different way to make a wrist corsage other than the norm, I find it really interesting. And I've always wanted to do this technique, and I have to give credit to Helen Miller, AIFD, who showed this process to me, and I just I just was astounded by it, and I just love the thought process. And so I wanted to share that with you today. And what we're going to be using is hot glue. And kind of stealing from the aspect of cake decorating is using these are fondant molds. And this is a silicone fondant mold. And if you look at it, this is in, has a leaf shape to it. So we're going to be using that. And what you do to start with is to create these molds. So we're going to have to use our hot glue. And we're just going to fill the mold completely with, with your hot glue. And then what I like to do with it, once that's completely full and that you don't see any coming out the sides, you can see how hot that is. So you want to make sure that you get that completely full the first time around. And then what I like to do with this then is put it in the freezer. So that gives me, it dries or it hardens really, really fast. So you fill all the, the patterns that you want and then you just put that in the freezer in the way that you want. And what happens is they come out looking like this. So we have multiple sizes of leaves. The one side of it has a texture to it. That's what the mold is for. And they pop right out. So it's really, really easy. Now when they come out of the mold, sometimes you see that they've got a few glue strings or whatever. So you can trim these up to however you want them to look and just clean them up so they look nice and neat. And then what I'll do is I'll take these um, glue and I'll turn them over and I'm going to spray them with, this is Design Master Basil, and I'll spray them with basil on the back side and let that dry. And then what you end up with is a beautiful little leaf that has kind of a little bit of an iridescent feel to the very top of the surface of it, but it's dimensional and you can see the, the vein variations that the mold has created with the pan glue, or this hot glue that we're using. The next thing I want to do is I want to add it to a wrist cuff. And this happens to be one of the Anderson wrist cuffs and you get a lot of different floral wholesalers. And it's just a beautiful little metal cuff. And I'm going to just put it onto a water bottle. That works about the best for me that I find. If you're going to do a lot of them all at once, put them on a PVC pipe that's about the size of an average wrist for prom or for weddings or whatever you want to do. So if you look at this the rules of glue are this, is that you can't glue to something porous. So metal is not, you have to glue to something porous. So metal is not porous. So you have to add something to that. So what I like to do is just take some U-glue and put a nice strip on the top of this band. And you want to get it right into the very center and stick that on there so that it's going to adhere right to that band. And then I'm going to glue right to this U-glue. And that's going to give me that binding that we have with that glue to goo purpose. So I'm going to take my painted leaves and I'm just going to start adding them dimensionally. So I'm adding one to one side, one to the other, and I think I've got that going the wrong way. I do. So you got to think about how it goes onto the wrist. So I'm going to pull this around. So I'm going to follow the wrist because your arm goes like this. The water bottle is your wrist. And so we're going to place that just like so. And we're just going to keep adding these little glue pieces. And dimensionally how you want them put on. Just think about the pattern that you want to create. I like to make sure that I kind of go opposite if I put one on one side. Make sure there's another one on the other side of that same shape. And I'm just going to keep adding. So I have, oh, there's, I used four different types of leaf forms from this. And I'm just going to keep adding this in from going from the larger to the smaller and just develop that. And then I have my very tiny ones that all I want to do, and I want to try to get them to stand up a little bit. So a little bit of glue at the very base, it's just so I have dimension. And this gives me that ability to do that because I'm kind of using the other forms to prop it up. So now I'm creating that depth in the design that gives me that ability then to build around that. 
So once that's all done, what a great form that is. That can be done ahead of time. It's completely finished. So what you could do, and if I've got a few glue strings, remember that old trick of just taking a, a hair dryer and just putting it on a high and just shooting up for a minute and all that glue is going to dissipate back into the leaf forms itself. But what you want to do with this is that this is done unless you want to add other materials to this. You could add beads and pearls and whatever you wanted to do to it. But you can have this form already done and then when prom gets closer or a wedding event or whatever you want to do, then you can start adding the fresh. And when you add the fresh to this, this is really fun. I like to, I like the color palette of Dusty Miller. And here I have some of the Lacy Dusty Miller. And if you're gonna use Dusty Miller in croissant work, it doesn't hold up really, really well. But the cool thing is, is that if you spray it with flat white Design Master and just spray that, I straight my hand, on the very back, then what happens is that it seals that up and that we're able then to add this to the design. So we're gonna take, and it holds up a lot better. If you look at the Dusty Miller itself, the back side of it's really, really porous. The front side of it has that velvety texture to it. So that, it's the back side that releases all the moisture. So that's what you wanna seal up. So a little bit of flat white Design Master paint behind that. And then you start using, I'm using Oasis adhesive for all the fresh product that I put in. And that way, then it doesn't damage. If you use hot glue on fresh, it's gonna damage it and it's not gonna hold really well. So by adding these four in, and I'm just gonna go around to each side, add those in, get it so that it adheres right to that glue. There you go. One more. And just tucking that in. So the color palette I find is just astonishing with that. I love seeing that Dusty Miller color then with those glue leaves that we created with the hot glue. So then I'm going to continue to add to it and I have some Sweet William blooms. Again a little bit of glue, count to ten, stick it in, tuck that into that very center. We're just going to add just little bits. We don't need a lot because our base is already created. So one down to the very center. You could add as much as you want, bring it out as much as you want to do. We'll do one to this other side. I think I need one more. So we're going to cut them off. And add it to this opposite side. And then another product that I love using a corsage work and boutonniere work or pincushion protea. And just taking bits and pieces of the pincushion off and you can get several corsages out of just one bloom. Trimming those down, using a little bit of glue. Again, this is the Oasis adhesive. It's that cold glue application. And then I'm just gonna tuck these underneath all in a group. You gotta kinda hold it there where you want it because it's a little tacky at first, but the Oasis adhesive does great when it's dry. So it takes a little bit, you just wanna hold it there until it's dry, uh, just a few seconds. It's gonna be completely dry in about four hours, but I wanna show you what a completed one looks like with that pincushion protea in there and how fun that is to give you that look for a wrist cuff for prom, using then the bits of glue as your base structure, a little bit of paint with the Basil Design Master, and then using your Dusty Miller, adding Sweet William, or whatever tiny little flower you want to add to that. And I love creating that dimension and that huge color impact done with Pincushion Protea. So just another fun way to make a wristlet.